Hello, my name is Daniel Holbach and today we're going to do packaging from scratch. We're going to download a tarball from the GNU homepage and do packaging of Ed. Ed is a simple line editor. It's a very simple and basic example of what we can do. So let's get started. First we're going to download the the tarball. It's a tab bz2 file and the Ubuntu and, and Debian packaging process only allows um, tabgz tarball so we're going to repack it but don't but won't change anything else. I'm going to untar it first and then retar it with gzip. The naming scheme is fairly important. It's name of the upstream software underscore upstream version number dot auric dot tar dot gz. We'll also make a note in the in the change log to let everybody know that we just repacked the table from bz2 to uh, to gzip. Now we're going to use a, a tool called dhmake. dhmake provides us with a set of example packaging files for all kinds of purposes like adding man pages, info pages, um, emakes, modules and so on but we'll just strip it down to the bare minimum. We can tell the HMAC which, which um, license the code is, is under. So we'll check the copying file which says GPL version 3. So we will call the HMAC minus S because it's a single package. We're not planning to split it up into various um, binary packages but just one. And we also pass minus C for the copyright and pass GPL. If we change into the Debian directory, we can see a lot of example files. And as, a, as I said, we're going to strip it down to the bare minimum. So we'll delete all the example files, everything that's not really necessary for our case. Okay, so in the end we have the change log, the compat file, control file, copying, copyright and the rules file. Let's edit the, the change log first. As you can see, the HMake gave us an example of Debian packaging. So the version number needs to be adapted. It's going to be 0.9-0 Ubuntu 1 to in indicate we're not inheriting any, any version from, from Debian right now, but we package it on our own. And we'll also replace Unstable with Hardy because that's the, the current development release. A changelog entry initial release is enough. We're not closing any bug with, with this upload, so we'll delete the, the rest of the line. And we also add... Um, repacked tar bz2 to tar.gz tarball no other changes that should be enough All right let's do the control file next the control file describes the source package and the resulting binary package the source package of course has a name the section in this case, it's going to, going to be editors. It has the maintainer name, build dependencies, and the standards version, which refers to the, the version of the Debian policy this, this um, complies with. Okay. We'll leave it as it is. It doesn't, doesn't need a lot of build dependencies. 
um, it will just require uh, glibc and that's in build essential so we can assume it's going to be on the build machine we don't need to to mention it in the build depends explicitly okay so let's talk talk about the the binary package the package name is add architecture any means build this on any architecture in the in the build daemons farm which means f386 amd64 power pc all all architectures because this com contains compiled code it needs to be built separately on on, on any any machine the de depends are automatically generated in our case we don't have any external um, dependencies shlibs depends will be generated from the libraries our binaries are linked to we just need to edit the description and it's usually it's quite common to, to copy it from the from the readme file so let's just do that You can always improve it in the end, but standard Unix line editor should be enough. And now we'll copy this for the for the long description.